our update on the Fiat 500e volt inverter electric Honda Odyssey. I got new shocks in. I got new Fox shocks. Took about three months to get them in. Bought it from the cheapest place I could find on web, which was off-road uh, motorsports or something like that. I'll put the link in the description or whatever. Um, but they sell for a really cheap price, but they don't have the parts in stock. So you gotta wait for Fox to send them to you. So that's why it took like three months to get to me. And what I am doing is I'm taking out the old shocks, which were kind of okay for the cart as it is right now, but without any weight in it, because I still don't have the batteries in it. So that's gonna add another 300 pounds or so. And so therefore those shocks, those springs would be overloaded and the suspension would work. So I'm going to put in the air shocks and I have been practicing my TIG welding uh, can you focus focus and I have gotten so much better I still suck immensely but you know these ones right where's my finger right there going up and down look pretty good those look right there don't, don't look at those uh, look over here this looks you know acceptable ish but man TIG welding is just so much better than MIG welding MIG welding you just you don't have any control TIG welding you can see the puddle you can see what what is fused and what's not it's so great um, and then, like, look at this guy down here. This is actually, this whole part is a three-piece weld mitt because I just had steel laying around and I didn't have enough to make it work. So I cut the bottom of it off and then I re-welded it back on in a different way. And then I welded on another extension right here and then drilled and did all the stuff. And, you know, you can see that's, that's, if it would focus, I don't want to touch anything because I've been welding on it burn the sh Nikes out of myself. Nope, not gonna touch it. Um, but that's what the shocks are gonna do and I'll have uh, full suspension travel and everything so that'll be really cool and adjustability. Um, and then I also got a regulator for the argon tank so I can now put argon into the Fox shocks so that way I can adjust the pr uh, pressure and everything and I can start playing around with that stuff. Uh, that's really cool. But yeah, making some progress, and I still don't have the uh, hoop batter hoops back from my buddy that can actually weld, whereas I just, you know, mud dauber stuff together. Um, so once I get those back, then I will mud dauber them back onto the frames wherever they go, and go from there. And I don't know if I showed you this. I can't remember, but I've welded these guys on. I think I showed you that, or I have another video that I haven't done that has that in there. And this is so it just gives me a little more side protection because I did cut out the rod that came out through here and that way the battery can slide up closer here because this rod came out and up and it was giving me like taking like two inches away or so but and then I got this back battery bracket on I don't know if uh, you all seen that either I need to get the bolts to bolt that in and that will hold one battery back there left to right right behind the driver's head what can go wrong right So what I did is once I got the one member put on there, I took a photo of it and then brought it into CAD and then put in the tube. And you can see the tube there. And that's how I'm getting the design for this. And let me go over here and check mark out. And then once I have this, let me hide one of these, suppress. Okay. Oh. What did I do wrong there? There we go. Now I've got that. And with that, I have this. And with this, I can print it out and cut it up. And then I make these deals with it. And then once I have these two guys cut and everything, I uh, just cut it and put it on, and then I've got a pretty decent looking fit there. And then this one goes on, the bottom one goes on there like that. And that's how I'm going to get everything cut and coped to where it works. Only problem is I need to get more angle there that is not angled enough. So I need to check that one out. You get that fixed. So 
I'm gonna have to get another one cut and cooked. Let's see how this one looks. This is the wrong way now. That's the wrong way. So, so for this lower one, I just need to increase the angle to give it a little bit more angle. And I think that'll be good. All right, I was hoping I'd get this done tonight. Uh, got both Fox shocks put on, got the cross members all, air quotes, welded up uh, as best as I could. And it actually works pretty well. The issue right now is the shocks have too much or too little oil in them. They are too much stroke of a shock. So they're pretty soft. When I jump them down on it, it's pretty soft. Let's see if I can. Let me just put a little bit of weight on it. Let me see if I can get the camera so you can see. All right, the camera on the paint can. Top quality stuff. They're going down. That's pretty much as far as it'll go, I think. Well, not bottoming out the. I'm not bottoming out the ball joints. I don't think so. I can take them off to make sure they go over halfway. Let me do that real quick. Jack it up, back up. Let's see how this wheel actually goes up by itself. So, where's that? That's a little bit more than halfway. Or that's that's probably pretty close to bottom. And let's just drop it down. And I can't get the jug out. Mm. 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 Okay, I think it's, yeah, that's maxed out. That is truly maxed out. Okay. So if I'm hitting on a 4x4, four four, it's maxed out. <sighs> oh. Okay, let's see if I can bang off. A... Let me go two four by fours and see if I can bang off a two. I'm sure I can. Yep. Yeah, so I was banging on the uh, ball joints. Okay. But I just got to add more oil. That's fine. That's what's great about these shocks is that they are adjustable. I just need to open them up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it about... No, I'm going to put it all the way down. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put it... When I drain the oil out, when I drain the air out, I'm going to drop it down all the way. And then I'm going to fill it up with oil to about that level. Um, and then I will repressurize it with nitrogen. And about 200 PSI seems about right, because that's what's in it right now. And it feels pretty good. Uh, so I'm super stoked. Super stoked. Just need to make sure I have enough 
Yeah, and when I and when I bring the the oil level up, that will increase the spring rate and make it even more difficult for it to get that low. So hopefully I won't break ball joints.